Hi guys, it's Michelle. So I'm just here very quickly um, to do a quick video for you guys. I have this amazing wig from Ellen Villa US and this is part of the Hair Society collection. This wig is called Star. It is in the shade Champagne Rooted. So as you can see, it does have some roots and I was going to show you how to add roots. Now, this wig already has rooting with the shade. What I'm going to do to show you guys is I will show you the kind of method to use. What you're going to need is you need your wig that you want to add roots to. The colour is going to be eyeshadow or brow powder. I tend to use brow powder. So I have my wig. I have my Ellen Villa brow power. You can use an eyeshadow, whatever you like. And then once I've done it all, I will finish off with a finishing spray, which is actually for synthetic wigs and hair pieces by Cinovation. So I'm going to do this just now. You can use a brush, like a kind of hairdresser's professional type brush if you want. I'm actually going to use this wee foundation brush by Nanshi, which I don't use for foundation, so I figured this is going to be ideal. So let's give it a go with this wig. It's funny because when you have bio hair, often, like people who have their own natural hair, they don't want roots. Okay guys, so here's the difference. Here's me having rooted that wig and that was using the brow power. Now I would leave that to kind of dry and then just give it a wee spritz with some um, spray, formulated for synthetic wigs, a finishing spray. So popping this wig back on, as you can see, now the roots are a lot darker than previously. They are extended, we've done a wee bit of a root drag there. So it does give a very, very natural grown out appearance. So this is the kind of look that we have just with the kind of extending the root down. What I'm going to show you now, we have a wee bit bananas. I'm using Contour Palette. Highlight and Contour Pro Palette by NYX. Now, this is obviously, it's, it's what I have on to um, totally contour myself to oblivion. NYX, did you know people do this? <laughs> so I'm now going to, So the black to the brown to the blonde rather than the black to the blonde that we have here. What I'm actually doing is I'm just doing the kind of roots of the underneath layers with the brown. I'm not doing the black, I'm just doing the brown here because I do want that blonde to be showing through as well. And in Scotland, we get a lot of rain. I would use a setting spray on this when I'm finished. I know some people use normal hairspray. I honestly would not recommend it because it does damage the acrylic fiber. If you use hairspray, your wig's gonna die a couple months before it would normally. It's fun, just experiment with your wigs. Have fun with your wigs. Do what you like to do with your wigs. Okay. So as you can see, this looks like an absolutely 100% different wig from what we had at the beginning. Obviously, you can have fun with this if you want to go and kind of make your wig blue or something like that as well. Obviously, that's something that you can do too, using this technique and method. It looks so different. This was champagne, champagne rooted. So the whole wig was that kind of colour. And as you can see, we have really changed that up. And don't forget, if you have a lace front, you want to be making sure that you have got some roots on the very front as well so that when you do pull that back that's going to look rooted it's my brush man tangle teaser so I'm just giving that a brush through see if there's anything else I want to do colour wise Okay guys, so this was obviously super duper blonde. I've got black roots, then I've added some brown-ish shades going to its own blonde at the end. So that's creating, this was very quickly done. Obviously you can spend more time on that. What I do at this point is put it on my head, man. Get it on my head. 
Check I'm happy with it. Now I've not kind of set this at this time. I've just got to clean your hands after you've done this by the way. <laughs> and if you're worried that this will happen through the day, then the way that you stop that is using your finishing spray. Okay, so. You want to use a finishing spray for synthetic hair. You do not want to be using a conditioning spray because then it tends to moisturise. You want something that's created to style that will kind of hold and that just seals in those colours. So I do actually recommend this Cinevation for... I think I need to clean my head. My version of cleaning. Just cover it with makeup. Okay, so that would be the kind of finished look. So I have, um, it had very minimal roots on this wig. Obviously at the start of the video, this is how the wig did appear at the very beginning. Um, so we have really just darkened up those roots there, as you can see. Um, I've used some black eyeshadow, then I used a contour palette to add some brown, darker brown to a kind of more medium brown. Um, and I have left it so that at the back, what I kind of like is that I have the darker to lighter and at the back it's lighter as well. So it's natural colour just coming through there. So there you go, that's just a wee kind of tips and tricks with Michelle. If you do it then let me know if you've given it a go, if you try it. Certainly I would recommend if you're going to be doing it and going out anywhere or whatever. Um, it is obviously better to do it throughout the full wig. Obviously it's more time consuming, it's absolutely up to yourself. For me, I'm happy just kind of doing what people see. So the black on mine, I've purely just done along this kind of top section here and around the crown. The rest I've actually added the brown right in at the roots everywhere else. So I have darkened the roots all over. Just make sure that you do use a spray to set it when you're finished. Um, otherwise you might go in the rain and be like, colour everywhere. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you all soon with another video. And um, take care. Remember that you're beautiful. And thanks for watching. Happy Alopecia Awareness Month. Mm. Bye.